All right, welcome back, my lovely people. Today we're making the famous Liberian red oil potato greens. And these are my main ingredients, good meat, smoked turkey with some dry fish. I'm just gonna season it up and let it boil for about 40 minutes. And while it's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and blend up some of my other spices that I'm gonna use for later. All right, I'm using garlic salt and I'm using a teaspoon, one teaspoon in there. You can use any seasoning of your taste and I'm using the chicken flavor beyond. So I already have a little bit in there and then I'm also using black pepper. Like I said, you can use any seasoning of your taste. The idea is to make sure it tastes just as good as it looks. And Maggie, I always use two. So, all right, I'm just gonna pour some water in here. That was about three cups, but I'm noticing that I need more water because I have a lot of meat in my pot. So let me add maybe two more cups. So I'm adding two more cups in there. And this is just about, see, this is just about the right amount that I needed. I'm gonna blend up my other spices. Spicy habanero pepper. You can use as many as you want. I'm just using the taste that I like along with onions and smoked fish. I cut it up into little cubes so it'd be easier to blend with my spices. This is just for more flavor onto my greens. This is the potato greens, the potato greens, <laughs> as we the Liberians would say. It's not too fresh because um, I bought it when it was already cut and it's been sitting in the fridge for about a couple of days. So as you've seen here, it's not actually too fresh. That's the main reason I think I decided to do red oil instead of fried greens because with red oil it would be a little bit more easier to, I guess you can say, manipulate the taste as compared to frying it. Usually it comes on stems, but this is already cut. I'm gonna put my red snapper fish while my meat and things are boiling I put it in there so it can get some seasoning as well but I put it on top so that it doesn't break into little pieces because I need it to be whole by the time I'm done boiling this so I keep it on top All right. That looks good. Well seasoned and everything. So I'm just taking it out because I want to use the bigger pot. Because <laughs> I want to use the bigger pot for my potato greens. All right, so I'm going to have the greens in the pot and sort of cook it a little bit by itself before I add all my main ingredients. When I put the greens in the pot, I usually use the water from the meat being boiled earlier the well seasoned water aka it is stock i guess you can call it so this is going to be well seasoned and cooked well before i add all the other ingredients like the meat and other things this is the stock from the seasoning of the meat already is seasoned from boiling with the meat so all right so this is the spice that I blended earlier the smoked fish with onions and uh, more spicy habanero pepper it's going to go in here while the grease is cooking. I'm going to add two Maggi. And I'm going to also add the uh, chicken flavor bayon. Two teaspoons. When this is well seasoned, when the meat is in there, 
I don't need to do too much of seasoning. Add a bit of salt. Stir this well. So I'm gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes. This is what a green looks like. It has been well cooked and pressured by that fire. I'm gonna add my meat. Oh wow. Yes, I like a lot of meat in my soup. <laughs> Stir this up and let it cook together for about, I would roughly say 15 minutes. Let some of that water to dry up before I add my oil. Yes, this is the moment we have all been waiting for. The red palm oil going into this potato grease. Ooh, look at that. Okay, in there. <laughs> you know, just add a reasonable amount because clearly when I stir it up, it's gonna let me know if I need more or not. But don't be afraid of the red oil. Just like I said, add a reasonable amount. You see how the oil is kind of losing it up? Add just a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna add my fish. I cook it earlier with the meat. I always add it last because I don't need it to go into little pieces and bits. It's already well cooked and seasoned earlier. More spice. And I have to be very careful on how I stare, being that I just added my fish. Just to get it to marinate with the others. But oh my goodness, I am already super hungry just looking at this. Okay, let this, I would say five minutes just to marinate a little bit more and then we're all done.